Holly, hello, I'm Refashionista Sherry. And clearly this sweatshirt is incredibly tight across my chest uh, area here. It's, it's okay everywhere else, but it's very tight here. And that is because I got this adorable kind of ruffly sleeved sweatshirt for my kiddo, but she doesn't like it. So <laughs> I'm gonna see how I can upsize it for myself but I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit today. And I decided I'm gonna to try to only use the fabric that is existing already. So I'm not gonna add any exterior outside fabric to this. I'm just gonna see how I can chop it and redesign it to make it fit me. So let's get making. <laughs> For this hopefully a quick and easy project, all you need is your two small sweatshirt, your scissors, and your sewing gear. Okay, so of course the easiest way to upsize this would be to simply add side panels, which is what I did in my 30 Days of Refashions Gen X Upsize. I shall link that down below for you because it is super duper simple. So go check that out after this one if you have more than one sweatshirt to upsize. Okay, but this one as I said, I want to kind of challenge myself here and see if I can simply use this fabric itself to upsize the sweatshirt. So I guess the first thing I'm going to do here is flip it inside out. But before I do that, let's just take a look at these sleeves are so cool. This is why I got this for my kiddo because first of all, she loves the color a lilac, just like I do. And these sleeves are super cool. So it's, you know, like this kind of insert here in the sleeve and it goes all the way around and it I just think it looks super cool maybe it looks a bit too 80s for her though <laughs> okay anyway okay so I have my sweatshirt inside out and I have grabbed a shirt that has my ideal length that I would like this sweatshirt to eventually have so I don't know about you guys but in my older years now, I am actually <laughs> wearing a lot of shorter and cropped styles. I don't know why that is. When I was younger, I was terrified to wear them, but I guess, you know, as you age, you just don't really give a sh anymore and you wear what you want to wear, which I love so much. Um, Speaking of that, <laughs> today's troll time is all about people who think I'm super duper old and I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. And as an extra added bonus treat, Citrus Maloney is going to be responding to a four fantastic trolls. So stick around to the end of the video for that. And here, as you can see, I have lined up my shoulder seams and I am just going to chop my sweatshirt to size here. Okay, so the fantastic thing with sweatshirt and t-shirt fabric is it doesn't fray. So if I don't want to hem this up, I don't have to. And the same goes for you. If you just want to leave that raw edge like that, by all means, go ahead. It is not going to fray. And when you wash it, Sweatshirt material actually doesn't really curl up as much as t-shirt material, but sometimes after you wash it and throw it in the dryer, it does curl back on itself a little bit. Okay, so what I plan on doing though is reattaching this bottom hem sweatshirt band to my sweatshirt, which is going to actually give it a little bit more shape, I think. And if I want that, you know, few centimeters of extra length, then it's there. So I, of course, need to carefully chop this off so I can reattach it. Okay, so I'm going to set aside my sweatshirt bottom elastic hem for now. And look at this, you see this here? I think I'm going to use this part from the chopped bottom to add some extra space here in the shoulder area. And I definitely have more than enough here. I'm just gonna chop this in half and then we'll see how we're going to insert it. Okay, so now I have two pieces, but I'm going to have to cut off one of the sealed up ends here so it will be able to go 
all the way around the sweatshirt. Okay, so I just realized that this, I think, is one of those cases where I can see it in my head, but maybe I am not articulating or explaining it correctly. So what I plan on doing is, you see now I have this very super long, nice piece of the sweatshirt. And what I'm hoping to be able to do is chop here and then add this piece, like line it up with the shoulder here. And that's what I meant by having a nice long piece. So it will go around the back and the front, of course. And then I should have this much more on both sides to to work for upsizing. And I mean, I don't actually need that much more, but that's what I'm gonna use. And then it will be super duper loose and comfy on my chest. Okay, so I have had to flip my sweatshirt right side out again because this is just very, very thick and I do not want to accidentally chop off this little kind of ruffly detail here because I can't see it when it's inside out. So you can leave your sweatshirt inside out though if you don't have this to, to worry about. <laughs> Okay, so you can see here I have folded my sweatshirt in half as evenly as possible with the shoulder seams lined up, the sleeves lined up, the under the arm seam lined up, and of course, most important, the side seams lined up. Right, now I am simply going to chop straight on through from the bottom all the way up to through the shoulder seam. And now my sweatshirt is uh, totally opened up because the sides are gone. And, and now all I have to do is grab one of those long lengths of fabric and this center seam here, I'm just gonna match that up with the shoulder seam like so and pin it in place. Okay, and now all I have to do is go stitch it all the way down so um, my panel will be attached and I'm gonna go do that on both sides. Okay, so this is why it is so important to always make sure that you have the right sides facing. Clearly, I did not do that on this side. And now, um, yeah, I have to unpick this. Luckily, I noticed it about halfway through. So I'm gonna go unpick this and then redo it. Okay, that's much better. I now have both sides done properly here. So now it's time to reattach the sides and the sleeves. Okay, this took me way too long to figure out how to get these two pieces back together, but thankfully I have cracked it, I think. So I need to have my side piece, sleeve piece, right side out and my body piece also right side out for this second. And now I'm going to flip the body piece over top like so. La la. So now I do still have the right sides facing and the shoulder seams are lined up. And now I can just go stitch it all around and stitch it together. How awesome does that look? And I think I got these inserts pretty darn even, which is absolutely fantastic. Now I did try it on, it fits so much better. It is so much more comfortable. So now all I have to do is pop this bottom hem back on. And to do that, I'm just going to, of course, put it together with right sides facing and the raw edges lined up and then go stitch it together. And then we can try it on and style it up. Hooray, another awesomely fantastic upsize. And this one, this time did not use side panels. We added front and back panels and used just the fabric from the sweatshirt. So how awesome is that? And you see, look, look, we have line, line, like, sorry, you can so tell I have never taken a sewing class or a fashion design class because that's not a line, that's a seam, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so being self-taught is not a bad thing. If I can do it, 
anybody can. And look at the awesome, awesome results here. Like, come on. I think I'm definitely going to be upsizing using this type of technique on other garments. What about, I think we should try it with some trousers or jeans next and see, see how we go with that. What do you think? Let me know down below. And I just love this so much. And it looks so awesome with my upcycled lace trouser bell bottom tutorial that I did, uh, you know, last week. So I'll link that down below in case you missed it because these are woo awesome <laughs> and they're so easy to make too. Now, um, you know what time it is, guys? It is time for yet another roll time. And this time it is with my social media manager, Citrus Maloney. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Citrus Maloney, and just in case you don't know who I am, I am the social media manager for Confessions of a Refashionista. And it's me because, like, I'm a Gen Z, and uh, Sherry is super duper old, so she doesn't know what she's doing with social media. So that's where I come in. And first of all, Hello, how cool is my outfit? Uh, it is very vintage Y2K. I have my faux fur bucket hat, my heart sunglasses, um, my vintage Care Bars t-shirts, and of course, overalls. And to top off the outfit, these really, really cool um, bangles made from chopped hems, you know, from when Sherry like shortens pants and stuff. She keeps the hems and makes these really cool bangles out of them. So the tutorial will be down below for you. But this is actually what we are talking about today in troll time. And I'm doing troll time today because it's all about people, you know, talking about Sherry's age. And, uh, I know she's old, you know she's old, she knows she's old, and these people just really want to kind of pound that into her head about how old she is. So let's see, let's see what they said about this, about this, okay? Um, all right, so let's see. Susan, Susan says, I don't know a soul who would wear any of this. Maybe preteens and not even sure about that. Um, okay, Susan, um, first of all, you're not the fashion police because the fashion police doesn't exist. Second of all, you kind of look a lot older than her, so maybe don't tell people younger than you what they should wear. It's totally not cool. And, okay, next one. <laughs> next one, okay. Um, next one comes from Ty. I'm, I'm thinking that's how you say that. I'm not sure, so I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but I'm going to go with Ty. So Ty says, don't know how old she thinks she is, but oh, I, th I think she means I, but oh, wouldn't even let my kid wear them or destroy her jeans like that. Um, okay, as was previously explained, and as is explained in the video, um, no jeans have been destroyed. I don't know if you're hard of hearing because maybe you're a little bit older, like Sherry is, but... No jeans were destroyed to make these. These are all chopped, chopped hems from when she shortens pants for her or her kiddo or friends or whoever. She doesn't throw out the chopped hems in the landfill. She holds onto them and makes these quite cool little bracelets. So, um, yeah. And as far as her age, I think once again, we all agree. She's really, really old. Okay. Okay. She's super old. All right. Next one. Uh, next one is from B. And B says, she seems old enough to know better. Okay. Uh, so here we are again, talking about age. And if Sherry seems old enough to know better, uh, B, you should certainly be old enough to know better than to go be an asshole to strangers online. Right? Right. Okay. Next. Uh, all right, next is Jill. And Jill writes, would rather wear a nice platinum watch and a nice diamond ring, not that tat. You keep it. Um, okay, so <laughs> it seems like Jill 
more than anything, wanted to kind of humble brag herself, like, and be like, oh, I have platinum watches and diamond rings and blah, look at me, I'm so great. So that's really weird. That's like a weird thing to say. I would rather, well, then don't make it, right? Like that's, again, the easiest thing. If you don't want to wear it, don't make it. It's so, so simple. But once again, it's, you know, all of these people that think their opinion is so important and everybody should listen to them because I don't know why. And for me, I just really feel sorry for the people in their lives because if they talk like this to a stranger online, how do you think they talk to the people that they supposedly love? Like the criticism must be deep during family dinners there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, these are great and Sherry loves them. And these ones, these ones, she actually made a really long time ago and they are so super cool and they're still looking awesome. The actually, the fray on them makes them even cooler. And you don't even need to like know how to sew. This one she just made, oh, here. This one's like a cord hem and this one is just, um, you know, glued on. These little rosettes are glued on, but they're so super cool. This one, this one is super, so, so, sorry. This one is super duper cool because these is two hems from her daughter's outgrown baby jeans. So it's actually something kind of special as well. And yeah, so clearly her daughter isn't gonna fit in her baby clothes anymore. And again, she made this a really long time ago. So all the links for all of these will be down below. And um, what does she always say? Oh yeah, until next time. Stay safe, stay well, and she'll catch ya on the zigzag. Oh, right, and you know what? She has like TikTok and, I mean, Facebook is kind of for old people's, but she still has the confessions of a refashionista Facebook page, a refashionista Sherry TikTok, um, Tumblr, what else? Um, go to refashionistasherry.com and all the social media is there. You can like follow her there and um, that's like me doing the work behind the scenes, so yeah. Anyway, okay, gotta go. Bye. This is Confessions of a Refashionista.